Hello, my name's Scott Atwood, and I'm going to do a review on the large print Thompson Chain reference Bible from Church Bible Publishers. This is in the calfskin leather, iron calfskin, and I've got a few of these now, and uh, this one here is the thickest. I guess it, you just get what you get, but it's a real thick leather, and it's real flexible like all of them, but it's a real nice thick piece of leather. It's perimeter stitched. It's got the book block goes into here for secure, for uh, sturdiness. And the Thompson Chain Reference Bible, this is the uh, 21st edition and it was in uh, printed in 2018 and there's the number down there if you want it I got it through Church Bible Publishers the Thompson Chain Reference Bible is an excellent Bible for studying it's got so much stuff in it that it would take a long time for me to go through everything Okay, it has a preface to the Thompson chain. This is where it's going to tell you how to use this thing. I'll show you a little bit, but you can really, uh, an encyclopedia of margins, text encyclopedia, journey maps. These are all at the back. Self-pronouncing text. And somewhere right here. Practical advantages of this Bible. An explanation of the... Okay, this is where it teaches you. If you can see that. This is how it's going to show you how to use it. But I'll show you a little bit. Ah. Hey, Ray Ray, that's my granddaughter screaming in the background. Okay. What you do is you'll find a subject that you want to study. And then beside that subject is a number. Okay? Now this number is going to take you through the entire Bible on that subject. So what you do is you go back here to the back. and From there back is all reference. All this is reference. <laughs> so you go to the back and you'll go to that number. Say... Say I wanted to study on Bethlehem. That's number 408 right here. And it will give you uh, Genesis 48, 7, Ruth 1, 19. It will give you all the references talking about Bethlehem throughout the entire Bible. And so you can take a subject and just study it exhaustively all the way through. Here at the back, this is all uh, the references. So, you go to a reference, you find a subject, like you're reading along in the Bible, and you say, well, what is that? And then you come over here and you find the number, and it'll be found back here in the back, and you reference it. Okay, but not only that, it has, it has book outlines at the back here. It's got so much stuff, it's hard to go in. This is a... Uh, Outline studies on the Bible. This is just some of the stuff. This is all this is thin paper too. It's it's a large. It's a I think ten and three quarters wide and then uh, or long. Let me just measure it real quick. Yeah, ten and three quarters long by eight inches wide. So it's a it's a big big Bible, but it's not really that heavy, and it's only an inch and a half thick. And it's got all this information in the back. So what do we got here? This is just some of the stuff that it has. It has uh, the footprints of Jesus. These are the book outlines. The footprints of Paul. Here's uh, something on the temple. 
Well, that's got a lifetime of uh, study stuff that you could just go over. It has an archaeology. Uh, here's a Paul's third missionary journey. And it has all kind of different Bible uh, helps. This is the uh, temple. It has an archaeology where articles on archaeology. Here's some of that. And like I say, from the ribbon back this way is all reference. So it's really good. The archaeology, and that's, there's quite a bit of that in here. Bible archaeology, Bible archaeology. And then it has a concordance. And the concordance is this thick, right. Right here. At the back it's got maps. Now this is not on cardstock, which I really kind of like. Because it doesn't... It doesn't add to the thickness of the Bible, which this Bible could be humongous. It's got a nine-point nine font, and, it, and Kirkbright uh, makes these things. And they send them to book block. Mm-mm. They send them to book block, book block, and they just they bind it for them. <coughs> it's got the raised hubs, a real thick pistol, piece of leather. One thing I don't like, and if you've watched them, I, I will tell you what I like, and I'll tell you what I don't like about them. I don't like the red leather in these Bibles. It's a little white for me. But I don't use this really for reading a whole lot. I use it for the reference system. But you see, I mean, it's readable. You can read that. It's just a little light. The red letter. But anyhow, that's a real quick review of the Thompson Chain reference Bible. It's got one ribbon. I, I did the uh, build your own thing. And when I filled out the paperwork, um, I, uh, I meant to get three ribbons. And I must have filled it out wrong because uh, they only sent me with one. <laughs> but it's the thick one, and I don't, it's no big deal. I didn't even bother sending it back. But basically, I spent $15 extra for one less ribbon. <laughs> but that's it, the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. There's a lot of people online that uh, will really go into the details of how to use this. But basically, what you do is you find the number here. You line it up with the number in the back. And it'll give you all the verses on that subject. So you can take a subject, uh, sanctification or something, and you can look it up. And you can also just look it up without even finding the verse because it's in alphabetical order. So if it's back here, it'll be... Uh, if it's at the back... It'll be in alphabetical order, and then you can find the number, and then go to the, you can do it backwards, in other words. Like if you're reading over here, and you find a number you want to study on, you go back here. But if you just go back here, and say, I want to study on sanctification, you find sanctification, and what number it is, and it'll give you every verse where it's at, in the Bible. But that's about it. It's a Thompson chain. Say hello to my Ray Ray. Say hello, Ray. Thompson Chain Reference Bible. It uh, compares scripture with scripture, so you really can't go wrong. It's not really any doctrinal statement or anything. And uh, very nice. And whatever you do, read your Bible, study your Bible. It can't do you any good on the shelf. So, read your Bible. Say bye-bye, Ray.
God bless you. Bye-bye.